All right, well, what I've been working with lately is this idea of uh, magnetic levitation to try to reduce the friction on a normal bearing uh, low power pulse motor. And this was something I threw together here to just show how you can just use regular permanent magnets to levitate something if you hold it in a couple of axes. This is a three axis. Uh, situation here three sticks and um, the uh, idea on this was to run this on a needle it's just a Phillips head uh, machine screw steel running on a needle and then pull up with a magnet here on that steel screw to reduce the weight on the needle and then you can drive it with a really 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 small amount of power this is one of these solar waiver drive units out of a solar toy and it's just aimed out at the window there it's not in direct sunlight and anyway this is what I've been fiddling around with because of um, my long-term running projects a lot of them have failed or have stopped due to friction and a lot of them what happens is dirt gets into the bearing and um, it causes the friction to rise and then they slow down because there's so little power being dri driven driving these things um, that uh, friction plays a point and let me just uh, show you a couple things here uh, these are a couple of my long-running projects that from time to time they stop and I'm thinking it's because dirt is getting into that bearing on both of those right there and so anyway, that led to this quest to look for a uh, maybe better way to do the bearing using magnetic, uh, semi-magnetic levitation on the rotor and then putting the bearing under cover up inside the rotor. Now over here is another couple things I wanted to share that I've got, that I'm looking at closely. Uh, these are two of my really long running projects. That's the penny oscillator that um, it was a, a project that I started a year or so ago to simulate a um, Magnet Man 2010 experiment where we had one of these penny oscillators running for a long, 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 long time on a rechargeable Duracell battery. And I ran that for about a year and it finally went down to about half a volt and went to a low blink, but it never stopped. It just kept on running. So this year, what I did is I put a little solar panel on it right there to pick up the ambient light that comes in the room to see if I can get more light out of it um, over this next year. And I use that like a night light, and it's been real successful as a little um, a night light indicator. This is another project that I started about the same time to see how long it would run on that Duracell rechargeable didn't work very well so I went back to um, a regular alkaline battery but this is an example of where the bearing is up inside the rotor and I've had really really good luck with that not stopping due to bearing friction so this is another example of, of what I've been looking at this is the bearings for these things that run year in year out 24 hours a day is one of the reasons they work or they don't work is friction on that bearing surface and this is the same idea of putting the thing on a needle running on a uh, Phillips head screw which is that screw right there that's a Phillips head uh, brass screw so anyway these are um, some things I've been working with uh, over the last few months thanks for watching